I'm not leaving. Okay. Yeah, you have to. Yeah. So glad I voted for him. He's wearing a purple tie. Oh, you want me to? I'll try. I, know. Oh. I don't know if I can. Oh. He just like moved to the side.
lesson of the day, we'll open the exercise with prayer. This may cause a lot of personal conflicts 
to a seemingly selfish world. Nonetheless, I ask you to do it. Your attention here. We sacrificed. We worked hard. We studied. We pulled all-nighters. We came, we saw, we highlighted. <laughs> SATs, ACTs, GREs, MCAT, LSAT, GMAT, JFK, MLK, LBJ, OCS. But all that work had a purpose, because we had a goal. We deferred gratification. We didn't go to all the parties. We didn't hang out for pizza and beer. We didn't watch television. Okay, we didn't watch all the television we could have. In the end, though, it paid off, because we had a goal. Now we're here, all of us who attained our goal. And the question is, what do we do next? I mean, after lunch. <laughs> well, now we're supposed to set our sights on the next goal, the next objective. And so we prepare to climb the next mountain and plant our flag on the summit. I have been special to make. I have doubts about the next goal. Sir Evan Hillary said he climbed Mount Everest because it was there. Is that enough? Can I commit my life to achieving things because they're there? Just because society builds mountains for us, does that mean we should climb them? Because even if we do succeed, what if we succeeded at? Will our lives consist of jumping from one hoop after another? Thank God. 